Hi there, this is Bruno from Spenguru.es, your portal and community for Spanish immigration. And we have here a very cool question that a lot of people ask in our Facebook group. What are my chances of getting a job that will sponsor my visa to work as a teacher in Spain? I'm planning on doing the, aux the Auxiliares uh, de Conversación program and move to, sp uh, to Spain next year. I was wondering, with a master's degree in education in the United States and have seven years of teaching experience, what are my chances of getting a job that will sponsor my visa to work as a teacher in Spain? What other things do I need to consider before doing this? Cool question. Let's check out the answers that this community member got. First one, a school will have to sponsor your work visa. For that, they must prove that no one in Spain or the EU can do the job. Good luck. Second, check out the website TES for international school jobs in Spain. With an education degree, experience, and a smaller pool of native teachers due to Brexit, you have a better chance of being hired. Do your research and be persistent. Many schools start hiring in January, February for the next year, so start looking early. All right, a little bit more optimistic. Third one, hey, fellow teacher with a master's and a decade of experience. You can try international school, but you will have better luck with a private school after three years as an auxiliar. I became a freelance teacher and I work online for US-based programs and myself. Let me know if you have any questions. Next one. The chances are low. Your best bet is to find an English academy or a private school and make connections there. If those connections are strong enough, they might be able to sponsor your work visa, assuming they are looking for an English teacher and they absolutely love you. It's happened to other auxiliares, but it's not that common. You won't be eligible to work for Spanish public schools. You could become a freelance online teacher, but residency gets complicated. Next one. Your chances are virtually nil, as there are many native English speakers with teaching degrees and permission to work already in Spain. Next. I turned down a sponsored job this year as English teacher for a private school. Trust me. Even if you could find one, you might not want it. The Auxiliaris program pays the best per hour more than most jobs. And that makes a lot of sense, and it explains also why the Auxiliaris de Conversación program is so successful. Next, I was able to work at an international school, but only because I have a U.S. teaching certificate. That's how they were able to sponsor my visa. Next, if you have a CELTA TEFL teaching English as a foreign language certificate, you could get lucky by applying to language academies directly. Many companies request American or British teachers to provide business English classes in-house, companies or for companies or for young learners at their academies. Check TEFL.com. Next, pretty unlikely that you'll find a sponsor while you're outside the country unless you have experience in STEM or and IB. You would have a slightly better chance once you are in Spain, plus after three years in Spain, you can modify your visa more easily. And if you are interested in this subject, how to modify your visa after three years, you can check the videos uh, in this channel where we speak about it, which is basically Arraigo Social por Cuenta Ajena or Arraigo Social por Cuenta Propia. Next, your chances are very if you apply in rural locations in need, but this is speculation as I have no direct experience. And last, I had only one year of teaching experience and a U.S. master, but I decided to study the Spanish secondary education master because they, ha they can hire you with a practicas contract without having to wait and without having to prove that there are no other Europeans that they want the job. I am in my second year and my private school now. That's a very interesting uh, way to get to work as an English teacher in Spain. Please uh, have in mind that this is no legal or financial advice because all the information provided in this video and article is based on ex personal experience or um, internet research. So if you want uh, to, to find expert advice, you can go to spenguru.es and you will find all the links to the experts for tax purposes, immigration, relocation, sworn translations, health insurance, etc., etc. Many other services that are recommended by us. If you want to join our community, you can go to Spain Immigration and Residency Questions on Facebook. It's a very big group, very active, 16,000 members as of uh, November 2022. You can also join a Spanish uh, non lucrative visa group, a Spanish Digital Nomad, which is a law project coming soon in 2023. You can also join our newsletter that is sent every single Monday with the top discussions on our community. 
And yeah, that would be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.